Good morning. Authorities dismantled a paedophile ring on Tuesday, arresting 24 people, including an individual that personally groomed minors via instant messaging. Officers of the National Police said that the 24 produced films for online distribution that depicted children under the age of 16. The investigation began during the outbreak of the pandemic in 2020, when police received a spike in complaints from users who were alerted about paedophile material on the net and individuals who tried to contact minors. Police raided 25 homes as part of the operation, during which they collected more than 100 mobile phones, hard drives, computers, tablets, flash drives, memory cards and DVDs. Authorities said that the evidence they received depicted pornographic content starring minors. Authorities did not immediately respond to comment on how the investigation would proceed or if they believe the 24 encompassed the entirety of the paedophile ring. The Prime Minister is threatening to force media organisations which accused his wife of corruption to disclose their financial backers. Mr Sanchez announced a democratic regeneration plan which proposes compelling the media to publish the source of public funding which they receive and the identity of their owners. The proposed law change comes after a series of reports in online media relating to Pedro Sanchez's wife, Begonia Gomez. In April, the court opened a preliminary investigation into allegations of business corruption and influence peddling involving Ms Gomez, who will appear in court in Madrid tomorrow. Her husband has said that she has done no wrong. The original complaint was filed by the anti-corruption activist group Anos Olympias, the far-right party Vox and Institutia Europa, a group best known for its activism against COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, later joined the lawsuit. Democracy has old enemies, but with new tools that question reality with hoaxes, Mr Sanchez told Parliament yesterday. The government will canvass the opinion of other political parties on the proposed media law change before voting in Parliament. Alberto Núñez Feijó, the leader of the Conservative opposition PP, said the Prime Minister was only targeting the media for personal reasons. And the first heat wave of the summer starts today, so the Met Service AMET said, as the government kicked off a heat risk awareness campaign for people working mostly outside. AMET expects temperatures to exceed 38 degrees in most of the country today, reaching as much as 42 to 44 Celsius in the southern Guadalquivir Valley. The peak will be tomorrow, when most areas will warm up to 40 Celsius. AMET has issued a heat wave warning for large parts of Spain, including the Balearic Islands of the Mediterranean coast. The heat wave is expected to last until Saturday, although heat could persist until the middle of next week and will be accompanied by a haze from Africa, which often exacerbates health problems during heat episodes. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.